Israeli airstrikes in Gaza have killed 10 members of an extended family and demolished a building housing international media outlets. Balls of flame reached high into the sky as Israel's Air Force on Saturday afternoon flattened a 13-floor building which houses Qatar-based Al Jazeera television and the Associated Press News Agency in the Gaza Strip. They had given a warning to evacuate and Palestinian militants also fired back barrages of rockets and it's the sixth day since the conflict escalated and the death toll have risen as violence continues to sweep the occupied West Bank. This is the moment an Israeli missile strike destroyed a high-rise building housing the Associated Press, Al Jazeera, and other office spaces and homes in Gaza on Saturday. The owner of the building and journalists here are pleading on the phone with an Israeli intelligence officer who warned them the attack was coming and to evacuate. Al Jazeera's correspondent Wael al Dadu reporting that they didn't have time to grab their equipment. Israel says the building housed assets belonging to Hamas's military intelligence, the latest of many such attacks that Israeli forces say are responsible to the thousands of Hamas rockets fired toward Israel in the last few days. Meanwhile, the civilian toll of the conflict and civil unrest across Israel and the Palestinian territories is mounting. There are fears that Gaza's only power station may run out of fuel within days and foreign aid is starting to trickle in. Morocco is sending 40 tons of medical supplies, food and blankets to the West Bank and Gaza. Egypt is also sending ambulances into Gaza to try and bring Palestinians back to Egyptian hospitals. Palestinian medics say over 100 people have been killed in Gaza, including dozens of children. This man, a Gaza resident named Ahmad Yakoubi, says planes hit his neighbor's building, which housed a family of 10. Mark Reedman lives across the border in the town of Ashdod, Israel. At least nine people have died in Israel also including children. Uh, there was an explosion, a hard one. We had a rocket uh, hitting our uh, building. We live over here. Uh, I heard the sound of uh, windows splashing, you know, windows uh, falling off the building. A um, lot of, you know, people screaming. Right? I have uh, three kids, small ones, and I need to handle, you know, the uh, explaining them what happened here and uh, why this is happening. So it's not a trivial situation. Diplomatic efforts to stop the crisis have shown no sign of progress. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.